you're just starting out trapping or you know you've been trapping for a time um, what I use is this injector on the skunks um, what I the reason I use it is you could go in there and you can shoot the skunks because you're gonna have incidental catches if you're just starting out trapping you're gonna have incidental catches it just it, it a lot of times like you hear a lot of experienced trappers say you got to clear the junk out to catch some of the good stuff sometimes that's just the way it is and skunks are part of the, that junk stuff but they are worth money for one thing so if you kill them without getting them to spray you, you know you got a, a revenue source coming off of them um, besides their hide um, also is if you shoot them or like some guys will probably tell you you know they just wait in there with a yo-ho shovel or a baseball bat and take care of them uh, then it's they spray it all over and you smell like skunk I don't want to get that shit all over me and be in my truck and you know I might mean, want to stop and go in some place and get a coffee you know if you do get sprayed by a skunk and you go in and ha have a coffee what you want to do is immediately when you walk through the door what you're gonna do is you're gonna say my God, somebody, did somebody just hit a skunk out here and throw the suspicion off of yourself? Uh, not that I would have done that, but uh, that, that does work, I've heard through the grapevine, the trapping grapevine. But I do use an injector. I use a better piece of equipment. You can buy cheaper stuff. I, I prefer to use the better stuff. Then it doesn't fail me out on the line. Uh, and now I got to go drive somewhere and get another one. So what all this is is when you buy it I got these from F&T first thing I'm gonna do is I'll take when I get it take it out of the package I'm gonna lube this up with like uh, you know some silicone spray something like that to get that to slide a little bit easier which I'll explain in a minute why we want but all you're gonna do you're gonna pull this off it'll come with a needle you can get the replacements at uh, like say farm and fleet something like that this is a 16 by 1 All right, so you got to attach to the end, then carefully so you don't stab yourself like a heroin uh, addict. You know, the needle's going to come out the pointy end. <laughs> so all you got to do is just seat that right back on there. And you can see what you're going to do is when you stick it in the skunk, like stick it right in the chest, is it'll if you lube this up, it'll slide in easier rather than pushing it and you know getting them all agitated and then you got the part here to put the the broomstick handle in which we're going to talk about in a second but it, you know it's a, it's a pretty pretty simple concept and it's a good piece of equipment it works good in the line to make it so the skunks don't spray um, if you're you're going to use using live traps pre-think this that this will make sure it'll fit through your live trap because a lot of times the squares in the live trap just ain't going to fit through some of them. So you might want to cut a square out to make sure you can get this through there. You know, just some uh, preventative maintenance type situation. So they work real good. They uh, the one thing is is I use. I'll back up so you can see it. They sell this. What you're getting is a broom handle that'll fit right into these. You can get a broom handle this long, you know, and uh, do just like uh, they did at Bunker Hill and do a bayonet charge at them and just hope that, you know, you don't get sprayed. Which if you talk to them, they sell down most time, like most people will tell you. But uh, my thing is, is I like to just be away from them. I don't want to be right up on top of them. You know, when, like when you're taught, when I'll put this on there and show you. But all they do, it'll screw right on like so. Once you get it on there like that, you're a, a skunk killing machine. So, all you're gonna do is just pull that out, or you know, stick it in the acetone paint thinner, fill that up with the said stuff. What you're gonna do is just talk to the sweet to the skunk, you know, just talking to them sweet, just like you would your you know prom date on the prom night. So talk to them that sweet so they don't spray you and then they'll be looking at you. So all you're going to do is just take this, go like that, stab them, push it right in. You're good to go. The reason I like these is better than the short ones is because if I want to, because you're going to get some that are spooky. You know, you get the concept of the 12 foot where I can bring it back down to six. I got this at Home Depot. 
when you go into if you don't have a Home Depot, you're going to like Ace Hardware or whatever to buy the the pole. What you want to do is take your injector in with you and tie it because it doesn't fit all of them. A lot of them it does, but it doesn't fit all of them. So, you know, just take it, put it in your pocket, go in and try it, screw it on, to it, put it back in your pocket, pay for it at the thing. So, they work real good. And if you're just beginning land trapping, I would suggest getting getting this injector. Let me tell you what I think's really gone wrong. These days it's all wanna be singing someone else's songs. Everybody's doing the same damn thing.